G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Final Fantasy XV Comrades Guide, and this time I'm going to be showing you where to get a very powerful set of level 99 daggers, and quite iconic ones too, the Kitchen Knives. Now you might know these as the weapon that the Tonberries traditionally wield, it looks like, well, a kitchen knife or a butcher's knife. I think the design of them is absolutely fantastic, and they're totally worth getting just for that matter alone. Now, the skill they have on, on them only activates when your party's level or health level is below 30%, but they do give you quite a massive buff, but the actual usefulness of it is um, pretty questionable. But they still do make a pretty good stat stick or a piece of equipment that gives you the passive stats, so they're worth getting for that. And they are pretty easy to obtain too. So in order to obtain these, they actually come from a rare break from the Tonberries. Now you can find a lot of Tonberries in the mission Everybody's Grown. I believe you can get them off the green Tonberries. I'm not sure about the Master Tonberries. I think the Master Tonberries either give you the Tattered Cloth or the Dark Matter. But I think the green Tonberries have the chance to give you the weapon. I'm unsure of this, but I know I got my two kitchen knives off the normal green Tonberries. So if you're having trouble breaking the Tonberries before they die, maybe just get some lower level equipment on and I would recommend bringing a hammer and just doing the jump attack constantly on them. Most of the time you will break them within two or three hits. So once you've got that weapon, we're going to take it over to the Lestalum upgrade bench and we're going to have a look at the stats and the different remodeling requirements on this one. In its base form, the Kitchen Knives, it has a maximum level of 30 and in order to remodel it into the Kitchen Knives 2, we're going to have to reach 30% Dark Resist. When they become Kitchen Knives 2, they're going to have a maximum level of 60 and we're going to have to reach 100% Dark Resist in order to turn it into the top form, which is the Kitchen Knives 3. At this stage, the level cap will increase to 99 and you can pretty much put any stat in it that you want because there is no further requirements. So in order to get the Dark Resist, I think there's pretty much only one real option and that is the Behemoth Incisors. The Behemoth Incisors come from a quest called Double Dead Eyes and it comes from a horn break from the Behemoth. Now you can break the two horns I have heard from the first two Behemoth, but I have never been able to do it. Good luck to you if you can, but most of the time I just get my break off the last behemoth. And if you really want to speed up this process, I would take a hammer, of course, and do jumping attacks on his horns. And as soon as you break them, all you have to do is abort the mission, and that'll save you a lot of time on loading and uh, just generally going through camps and stuff. So it's going to speed up this process. It is possible that you will get a behemoth tier when breaking his horn, but it's fairly low, and the chances are you'll get your own tiers before you get his. The great thing about these behemoth incisors is that it gives you 10 percent dark resist everyone you use but it also gives you 20 strength as well so a massive amount of strength and dark resist so in total you're going to need about nine of these if you have the sid buff which i do have a guide on down in the description below which will give you an extra 20 or 10 to 30 percent uh, extra stats on your weapon so i highly highly recommend getting that before you upgrade your weapon but yeah it's going to take you about nine or ten of those and that will get you up to Kitchen Knives 2. At this point, you can pretty much pump into it whatever stats you want, but for me, I just went a pure strength build. Unfortunately, with my example here, I upgraded them before I had the Sid buff, which was a very silly thing to do, but I imagine if you had the Sid buff the entire way through, you could get this up way, way higher. I think in total, you'll need about 25 to possibly... 30 of these um, behemoth incisors, but I could be wrong. I didn't quite keep track. Bad cow. Bad cow. Anyway, at level 99, if you keep on pumping in those behemoth incisors, then you should get a weapon that has at least 400 strength on it. I imagine if you had have used the buff from the start, you'd be up around 500 or so. So it's a massive amount of strength. But the usefulness of these daggers, I feel like I've said before, they're pretty much just be better to be worn as a piece of equipment for their stats and things like that if you don't have a better option. Yeah, or if your party is dying often, then they can be useful. But the fact that we can't put our own custom skill on it and the second skill is really not that useful, then it kind of uh, limits how good these daggers can be. But they are the only level 99 set of daggers, so we're pretty limited in our choices here. 
So guys, I hope that guide helped you out. If it did, please leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or suggestions, or you have a detailed map or uh, ingredient list of what you use to level up your kitchen knives, then let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Oh, moo.